Hello everyone, our discussion for our today's session is all about specific gravity of course aggregates. We'll talk about its importance and test procedure. To start with, for our introduction, as everyone knows, cement, sand, and aggregates are the main components of concrete. Out of all three, aggregate works as a structural pillar in the concrete mix, but its role is far more important and essential than that inferred in a simple statement. Coarse aggregate occupies 70% to 80% of the volume of concrete. Aggregates are the material that the cement paste coats and binds together. The quality of aggregates imposes a significant impact on the properties of concrete like workability, strength, weight, durability, etc. So it is necessary to know all the properties of aggregates such as its shape, size, specific gravity, water absorption, flakiness, surface texture, abrasion, and skid resistance, etc before using aggregates for any construction project. In this video, we will discuss the specific gravity of coarse aggregates in terms of specific gravity definition, its importance, and the standard guidelines to measure it, including water absorption tests for coarse aggregates and etc. By the way, this is our apparatus that we use when we are testing the specific gravity of course aggregates. What is then specific gravity? According to the Oxford Dictionary of Construction Surveying and Civil Engineering, specific gravity is also known as relative density. It is the ratio of materials density to the density of another material. However, the ratio almost always uses water as the standard comparison. The density of water is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Density of all other materials divided by that of water to calculate the relative density. Or in simple words, it is the ratio of the mass of volume of a solid material in the air to the mass of the same volume of distilled water at a stated temperature. A specific gravity is also known as bulk specific gravity. A specific gravity occurs aggregates. As per the definition given in the IS 2386 part three, year 1963 from Indian standard method of test for aggregates for concrete, a specific gravity, density, voids, absorption, and bulking. The specific gravity of course aggregate is the weight of the aggregates derived to constant weight in an oven at 100 degrees Celsius, divided by its absolute volume, including the natural voids within the aggregate particles. All rocks or stones contain in some small amount of voids and the specific gravity is an indirect measure of aggregates porosity. A low specific gravity may indicate high porosity, and therefore it offers poor durability and low strength. In the aggregate, some of the pores are permeable, whereas others are impermeable. Therefore, two types of specific gravities are defined. One is the absolute specific gravity, and second is the apparent specific gravity. In the determination of true or absolute specific gravity, both the permeable and impermeable voids are excluded. But it is not of much practical use as the volume of impermeable internal pores is too difficult to determine. On the other side, for the determination of the apparent specific gravity of the volume of impermeable internal pores is added to the effective volume of the aggregates. It does not include the permeable force. The specific gravity will be first depend upon the basic chemistry of rock and then of the amount of force or voids within it. 
If the basic rock is weak, then nothing will help you. A parallel to specific gravity of aggregates. It is calculated by measuring the weight of the open Y aggregate divided by its absolute volume, excluding the natural voids in the aggregate particles. It is the realistic quantified data validated to use for the calculation of concrete mix proportioning. Let's talk about the importance of specific gravity of aggregates. A specific gravity is important for following numerous reasons, and these are the following. For number one, specific gravity of aggregates indirectly measures its density. Hence, it is the most essential parameter of strength or quality of the aggregates. The higher the specific gravity, the higher is the strength. It is due to higher specific gravity, there would be higher compressive strength of aggregates and hence it passes on to the concrete. Number two, lower specific gravity indicates high porosity. Such aggregates are weaker in comparison to the aggregates of higher specific gravity. It is of important consideration when you deal with lightweight aggregates. Some harmful particles are lighter than good particles in aggregates. Hence, by tracking the specific gravity of aggregates, one can get to know the change of material or possible contamination in it. During the production of aggregates by using the difference in the specific gravity, harmful particles can be separated from the goods by using a heavy media liquid. Number six, in the cement concrete, the percentage of voids and the solid volume of aggregates can be calculated with the help of its specific gravity. Seven, in the concrete technology, the specific gravity of aggregates is essential in calculation of compactive factor in connection with its workability measurements. Number eight, looking to the above importance, one has to be reasonably cautious while using lightweight aggregates and its impact on compressive strength of concrete has to be counted in detail. These are standard guidelines for testing specific gravity of aggregates. First, you have to follow this guideline under ASTM C127-15, the standard test method for relative density or specific gravity and absorption of coarse aggregates. Second one, we have the ASTO T85, standard method of test for specific gravity and absorption of coarse aggregate. IS2386, part three, thus 1963 year. Methods of test for aggregates for concrete, specific gravity, density, voids, absorption, and bulking. A specific gravity and water absorption tests of course aggregates. According to IS 2386 part three, thus 1963, this is under Indian standard methods of tests for aggregate for concrete specific gravity, density, voids, absorption, and bulking as an example. There are three main methods used for measuring or finding the specific gravity of aggregates as per the size of aggregates. First, we have the method one. For the aggregates larger than 10 millimeter. Method two, we use method two for aggregates between 40 and 10. Method three, we use aggregates smaller than 10. For the aggregates between 40 and 10, both method one and two can be used. Here, we will see the test of Rath's procedure calculations and result recommendation of the specific gravity and water absorption of the aggregates as per the method in one in detail. Water absorption of aggregates. It is the percentage of water absorbed by an air-dried aggregate when immersed in water at 27 degrees Celsius 
for a period of 24 hours or one day. It is an essential parameter of porosity. It is considered as a measure of resistance to cross action and sustaining weather, weathering action. The water absorption of aggregates is also important in determining the net water cement ratio in the concrete mix. For the test of practice, following a practice, I used to conduct the specific gravity test and water absorption test of aggregates. This is for you to be familiarized with the different apparatus that we use in testing. First, we have the balance. A balance or a scale of about three kilogram capacity to weigh accurately up to 0.5 grams and of such a type and shape so as to permit within the basket containing the aggregates when suspended in water. This is the apparatus that we use, the balance at the top of the given test, testing apparatus. This is actually the balance. So this apparatus is the apparatus for specific gravity and water absorption test, of course, aggregate, and on top of it is the balance. Second one, the oven. A well-ventilated oven which can be controlled thermostatically and it maintains a temperature of 100 to 110 degrees Celsius or centigrade scale. This is the image of our oven as an example for you to be familiarized. Wire basket or density basket. A wire basket or density basket of not more than 6.3 millimeter mesh or a perforated container of convenient size with wire hangers for suspending it from the balance. And this is how it looks. This is its image. Density basket for aggregates. Watertight container, a stout watertight container in which the basket can be freely suspended. Dry clothes, two dry soap and good quality absorbent clothes of size 75 by 45 centimeters in dimension. Shallow tray, a shallow tray of the area not less than 650 square centimeters. All of these are the apparatus that we have to use when doing the testing process. For the test procedure to follow, for you to apply the test procedure, first step, take a sample of two kilogram of aggregates. Wash the sample thoroughly to remove finer particles and dust from it. Second step, after washing, place aggregates in the wire basket and immerse it in distilled water at a temperature between 22 and 32 degrees centigrade scale or Celsius scale with a cover of at least five centimeter of water above the top of the basket. For step number three of our test procedure, immediately after immersion, remove the entrapped air from the sample by lifting the basket containing aggregate 25 millimeter above from the base of the tank and allow it to drop again. Continue this process at least 25 times at the rate of about one drop per second. The basket and aggregate shall remain completely immersed during this process, as well as for a period of 24 plus or minus one of hours afterwards. Then the basket and the sample are jolted and weighed in the water at a temperature of 22 to 32 degrees Celsius. If it is necessary for them to be transferred to a different tank for weighing, they are jolted 25 times as described above in the new tank before weighing. Note down this weight of aggregates and basket in water as A1. After that, remove the basket and the aggregates from the water and allow to drain for a few minutes. After that, empty the aggregates from the basket on the dry clothes and return the empty basket to the water jolt it 25 times and weigh in water. Note down the weight of basket suspended in water as A2. Gently dry those aggregates with the dry cloth. Transfer aggregates to the second dry cloth. If the first one cannot remove optimum moisture residue from them. After that, spread out 
them in one layer for at least 10 minutes. For a surface to get dry completely and avoid direct sunlight on them. Then take the weight of these dry aggregates which are saturated and note it as B. For the last step, next, place the aggregates in the oven on the shallow tray at a temperature of 100 degrees to 110 degrees Celsius and maintain this temperature for the next 24 plus or minus one of hours, meaning 23.5 to 24.5 hours. Then remove aggregates from the oven and cool in an airtight container. After that, measure the weight of the aggregates and note down this weight of oven dry aggregates as C. For the calculation, calculations of specific gravity, apparently specific gravity and water absorption of aggregates are as follows. Calculation of specific gravity, apparent specific gravity, and water absorption of aggregates. Compute for the specific gravity as uh, C over B minus A, or C divided by the difference of B and A. Apparent specific gravity is equal to C over C minus A. Water absorption, percent of dry weight, is equal to 100 times the difference of B and C to be divided by C. We're in, okay, in this portion. We're in. A is the weight in grams of the saturated aggregate in water, or we have it as the difference between A sub 1 and A sub 2, where A sub 1 is the mass of aggregates plus the basket in water, while A sub 2 is the mass of our basket suspended in water. Proceeding to B. B is the weight in gram of the saturated surface dry aggregate in air, and C is the weight in gram of the oven dried aggregate in air. This is, this is all about the calculation of the test procedure that we have a while ago, or as I've mentioned a while ago. For the recommended results of a specific gravity and water absorption of aggregates. For you to make sure of your calculations, the specific gravity of aggregates normally ranges from about 2.5 to 3.0. According to Neville, author of the properties of concrete, the majority of natural aggregates have a specific gravity of between 2.6 and 2.7. However, high specific gravity is considered as an indication of eye strength. Water absorption ideally shouldn't be more than 0.6%. Actually, you may do this to perform the test or the test procedure that I've mentioned in our session. Thank you very much and God bless us all.